Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, CFL Week 15 begins tomorrow night. Three big games this week. <coughs> so we have the 6-6 <coughs> six six Toronto Argonauts taking on the 7-6 BC Lions. Um, the Argonauts are scoring 27.58 points a game while giving up 27.08. The Lions are scoring 25.76, giving up 24.38. The Argonauts have the ninth, or ninth in net offense at 341.1. They are sixth in first downs at 245. While the BC Lions are third in net offense at 370.7. And then they're second in first downs at 275. In week one, I actually did the preseason predict predictions for the over-under on wins. Um, for the Argonauts, I did... The number was nine and a half. I did the over. They're at six right now, so they just need four more for me to get that one. BC was at 11 and a half was their over under number. I went under on that, and they have seven. So get a little leeway there. Hopefully, they don't get to 12 wins this season. Um, in week one, Toronto beat BC 35-28. Now, the fact that Toronto is six and six, they are one and five on the road. Five and one at home, but they are five and one versus the West. While the Lions are four and one at home, three and five on the road, and three and two against the East. BC is actually favored by three and a half in this game. So I looked at that home record of four and one. I looked at that away record for Toronto at five and one and five. I looked at Week One, went ahead and BC. I got them minus four and a half and under on the 52 and a half. Next up, we have the Ottawa Red Blacks, 8, 3, and 1, taking on the 3 and 9 Hamilton Tiger Cats. Red Blacks are scoring 26.16 points a game while giving up 25.83. Tiger Cats are scoring 25.83, which I thought was ironic, and they're giving up 32.33. So, giving up a lot of points there in Hamilton. Net offense. Red Blacks are tied for 4th, 355.7 yards per game. Tied for 7th in first downs at 240. Tiger Cats have the number one net offense at 392.2. And they are 4th in first downs at 252. They could be 9-3 and three if it wasn't for the fact that defense has given up 32 points a game. Um, in preseason, Ottawa had an over-under of they had 6.5 in their wins. I went over. They're over that now, so that's a good good sign. Um, Hamilton was eight and a half was their win total. I went under. In week four, Ottawa won 24-22. Nice close game there. Just like in the first game, the road team, Ottawa in this case, two and three on the road, six oh and one at home. Tiger Cats though are two and four at home, one and five on the road. Ottawa's favored by four and a half. Eh, that was a hard one because of that game in week four, two points. It says four and a half. So I went with Ottawa. Hamilton covering the four and a half. I think it's going to be that two point game again. And I went under on the 50 and a half. That game was only 46. So I don't see the second game being over if the first one wasn't even there. So I got under on the 50 and a half. And then before we get to the third and final game, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders who are off this week. Uh, their win total in preseason was eight and a half. I went under. They're five, seven, and one. Edmonton uh, Elks. Their win total was seven and a half. I went over. They're five and eight. And then the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Their preseason total was twelve and a half. I went over. They're only seven and six on the season, so I may miss that one. But it's kind of neat to kind of look at that. Kind of here we are, week fifteen. Hmm, still got some room that we can maneuver. Hopefully we can nail some of those. We have the only team to clinch playoff berth, the Montreal Alouettes, who are 10-2. They are taking on the Calgary Stampeders, who are 4-8. Montreal scored 27.66 points a game, giving up 22.41. Stampeders scoring 23.5. Just like Hamilton, giving up, well, giving up over 30 points a game, 30.16. Alouettes have the fourth best net offense at 355.4. They are ninth in first downs at 239. 
the Stampeders are 6th in offense at 351.3, and they are tied for 7th in first downs at 270. Week 5, Montreal won 30 to 26. They are 5, Montreal is 5 and 0 on the road, 5 and 2 at home. Well, Calgary's 4 and 2 at home, but they're 0 and 6 on the road. Good thing they're home. Uh, Montreal's preseason win total was 9.5. I went over. Boom, nailed it. And then Calgary was 6.5. I went on the over. They're 4 and 8. Uh, the line of this game is Montreal by 4.5. So I got Montreal Alouettes winning, covering. I am taking under on the 49.5. I think having that first game already. Typically, we've I've seen we thought we've seen I could be wrong on this. The second game is under, and typically when there's the third matchup, that one sometimes goes over as well. It's like they get used to one another, and then they kind of have that break, and they're like, oh yeah, we forgot how these guys work, kind of deal. So I got BC minus four and a half, under and fifty-two and a half, Ottawa winning, Hamilton plus four and a half. Under on the 50 and a half, and then Montreal winning minus four and a half, and under on the 49 and a half. That is week 15, three big games Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Stay tuned to Robert Ford Show and check out NFL week dos, and then also CFL or uh, probably football week three. And NASCAR is in upstate New York at Watkins Glen. Definitely check those previews out coming sh shortly here on Robert Ford Show. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Let's have a great day. Have a spiffy day, Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports and content.